that affect our society deeply. From the complexities of suicide to the challenges of teenage pregnancy, these topics demand our attention and understanding. Suicide and teenage pregnancy, these are not just a statistic or headlines. They are represent the struggles, fears, and vulner vulnerabilities of real people, especially among the youth, who are navigating in the complexities of adolescence in a rapidly changing world. Suicide, a profound and tragic act, manifest in different forms. First, our autistic suicide, where individuals sacrifice themselves for the greater good. Secondly, egoistic suicide, born from feelings of isolation and detachment. Lastly, anomic suicide, stemming from a sense of disconnection, of loss, of purpose. Pregnancy remains a prevalent concern, particularly in the Philippines. It not only possesses threats to the health and well-being of young mothers, but also perpetuates cycles of poverty and societal challenges. In this digitalized caricature, we aim to explore the intricate dynamics of the suicide and teenage pregnancy within the context of today's generation in the Philippines. Through art and storytelling, we seek to shed light on these urgent issues, sparking conversations and fostering empathy. And now, we're gonna show to you guys our digitalized caricature. Good day everyone. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Althea May I Mariket from BSMW1 Section I. First is, I'm going to share my thoughts about the first example of suicidal action entitled Anomic Suicide. This is the first example of uh, suicide and it's called Anomic Suicide. Anomic suicide is tied to the feelings of isolation and isolationment where individuals feel disconnected from societal norms, leading to a sense of purposelessness, understanding economic suicide highlight highlights the importance of social cohesion. Anomic suicide is caused by a breakdown in social norms and values leading the feelings of disorientation and purposelessness. This breakdown can occur due to rapid societal changes, economic stability, or major life factors such as social isolation, economic hardship, and lack of social support can also contribute to anomic suicide. So the explanation of this picture is you get the person's emotional isolation and confused feelings lost in their own thoughts and routines. 
Hi everyone, I am Rochelle Pascual from Base in the Bully One Section I. And here we go, I'm gonna show you my thoughts about the second example of suicidal action entitled Linguistic Suicide. And let's proceed the second example of suicide. This culture describes the form of suicidal action which is called linguistic suicide. This culture provoked my insight that most suicidal action could involve this kind of self fulfillment And this culture describes the most burdensome suicidal action that eventually happens to people who cannot control their emotion and self affair and mostly happen this day. And it occurs when individuals feel detached or isolated from society, leading to a feeling of meaningless, lack of belongings, emotional breakdown that ultimately resulting in suicidal behavior. So now I'm going to show you some causes of this suicidal behavior. First, feeling disconnected and belong from family, friends, or community. Lack of social support, not having strong relationship to provide practical assistance. Experiencing significant life changes. Failure to meet societal expectations. Mental health conditions such as depression or anxiety. Feeling hopeless and lack of motivation. So that's a possible cause of linguistic society. Good day everyone. I am Baby Jonakasha from BSMW1 Section I. And I'm gonna share my thoughts about the third example of suicidal action entitled altruistic suicide. So this third feature is the third type of suicidal behavior which is called altruistic suicide. So altruistic suicide is a concept in sociology that refers to a situation where an individual sacrifices themselves for the greater good of a group or community. This act is seen as selfless and motivated by a sense of duty or loyalty to others. And now, the insight of my third picture is reflects the societal dynamic where individuals prioritize the needs of the community over their own and leading them to willingly sacrifice their own lives. So altruistic suicide can be caused by a strong sense of duty to one's community or social group. Often fostered by tightness, societal bonds, and cultural norms that prioritize collective well-being over individual life. Ang mga eksperto sa lumulobong bilang ng mga kabataan na bubuntis ngayong pandemia at pabata ng pabata ang mga maagang nagiging ina. Good day everyone, my name is Via Maturan from BSMW1, Section I, and I'm gonna share my thoughts about the teenage pregnancy. The second issue that we choose is teenage pregnancy. A lot of young people are affected by teenage pregnancy as seen in this kind of trip. So, teenage pregnancy refers to the occurrence of pregnancy in female stage, 19 years old or younger, and both the conception and subsequent development of a fetus in the womb of teenage girl. Typically, during the adolescence, teenage pregnancy can have significant social economic and health application. My insight of this current picture, teenage pregnancy marked by additional health and social reputation, demands holistic approaches that address not only the immediate challenges faced by young mother, but also the broader impact of their future prospect as a shelter will be. So, the causes of teenage pregnancy are diverse and include patient sex education and limited access to contraceptive socioeconomic factors, family dynamics, peer pressure, and cultural influences that collectively contribute to the complex phenomenon of adolescent pregnancies. To summarize it all, suicide is a complex and sensitive topic manifest in three different forms. The first type we'll explore is anomic suicide. 
driven by a breakdown in social order, economic instability, and societal upheavals contribute to this alarming phenomenon. The next one is egoistic suicide. This is rooted in lack of social integration, individual experiencing isolation or disconnectedness from society find themselves vulnerable of this kind of self-harm. Lastly, altruistic suicide. It involves an excess of social integration, pressure to conform to societal norms or extreme loyalty to a group can lead individuals to take their own lives for the perceived greater good. So now, let's address another significant concern in our society, which is the teenage pregnancy. This issue possesses not only physical but also socioeconomic challenges for individuals involved and society at large. Teenage pregnancy is often linked to factors like inadequate sex education, lack of access to contraception, and socioeconomic disparities. Our youth need comprehensive information and support to make informed decisions about their reproductive health. Addressing these issues requires a collective effort. Communities, government, and individuals must work hand in hand to create a supportive environment that fosters mental health awareness and empowers our youth to make responsible choices. To sum it up all, by understanding the different types of suicide and tackling the root causes of teenage pregnancy, we can pave the way for a healthier and more resilient society. Let's stand together, break the stigma surrounding these issues, and build a future where everyone has the opportunity to thrive. And that's all. Thank you.